It's time for Don and Ron. You won't get this anywhere else. All right, folks, welcome to another edition, the follow-up segment of Don and Ron on reaming holes in your control surfaces and on your airplane, getting prepped for putting the airplane together. I'm Don. And I'm Ron. What we want to show you today is kind of, again, how we make some of our tools. This little guy is just your standard reamer that you purchase from your machine shop. But if you look real closely, you can see there's threads right here and threads on the other end. And you can even see some of the yellow paint on it. This just happens to be one of the old stainless steel or steel, either one you want to use, flying wires for your tail. A lot of times you're going to replace them anyway. So what you can do is use it to make this extension. So we're going to show you how we ream out the control surfaces for the hinges on this particular horizontal. And uh, this is on that beautiful 1945 J3 from uh, Michael Brewer. But if you look, you can kind of see that it's really long enough to go completely through all the way. So now we'll just kind of put that through there. And we want to take and you want to, you don't want to just drag it through there. You want to kind of hold it, have a partner like Ron here, making sure that it's not rubbing and going to mess up any of your beautiful paint. Now you just attach the drill and you just pull it through. So it's pretty straightforward. But I'm going to sit here and support this guy to just make sure that it does not rub the paint or the fabric. So here we go. Let's give it a shot here. You see Michael's uh, zooming in here, kind of getting us a real close-up footage. Again, you don't have to turn the drill fast. The bushings are already nice and clean, but we just got some paint and uh, primer in there, so we want to get all that out of there. So he's just pulling it through nice and easy to slow speed. So you can see real quick here, now he's ready to start cutting some of that old paint stuff out. See what comes out of it? Pretty straightforward. It's nothing complicated. You're not really getting into the brass at all, but you are reaming it to the proper size. And so he's going to pull that on down through there. And again, I'm just going to be supporting it so we don't rub any of the paint. So no big deal. You could use the plastic like we talked about. All right, here we go. Kind of talking to us as it goes through there. Now let's hold a little bit of pressure on that horizontal so that he can pull it. All right, you see it kind of making its way through there, the shank itself. But pulling a reamer is always the best way to do it, a tapered reamer, because again, you wind up, it finds its own center so that you don't uh, bore the hole off center. So anyway, Ron's pulling it through there. And here we go, and watch all that primer and paint come out of there and a little bit of glue. All right, and then I'm going to support it to make sure they don't touch anything. There we go. That's how we do it here at uh, CND Aviation Patriot Aircraft. Anyway, thanks again for joining uh, kind of a follow-up on how to use a taper dreamer. I'm Don. And I'm Ron. And hey, y'all, don't forget, you need to like, share, share and subscribe. subscribe. And if you got a chance, go check out the Experimental Aircraft channel and see some of our videos. That sounds good. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a wonderful day.